5 overclock 5. I wonder why they call it 5 overclock 5. I don't know. But it seems strange that we are allowed to have overclock anyway for, you know, racers. Okay, so this is actually interesting because that means, for once, in a race, uh, we won't have any access to any activated abilities unless you count the engineer, which, um, no, we're not going to use the overclock because why would we? But anyway, uh, we have 75% more speed, 5% ability cooldown rate, so if you want to use the overclock, go ahead, although I have no idea why you want to use that, and 600% more health. Hmm, this means that round 40's Moab is going to be 1200 health, so uh, good luck trying to defend that schmuckles. But uh, either way, yes, we only have one of each tower and 505 towers, uh, default 657 cash, one to 71, and most importantly, maximum of 7 monkeys. So, how are we going to beat this, you might ask? Okay, so this race strategy is going to be a bit tedious, uh, you don't need to have the required monkey knowledge, but it'll be very helpful if you do. Why? Because when you start off with a big monkey, if you don't have it, you can place the ace here and set to figure 8. But since I have the monkey knowledge, I'm going to set to win, to set to win monkey and I'm going to set to around 10 immediately. So now, uh, next thing we're going to afford is a bomb. And we're going to place it in here, we're not going to place it in the middle and you'll see why later. So we're going to afford a bomb here. Let's set round 15 now that we got a bomb. And we're going to upgrade to the bottom half first, as you say, uh, 003. So let's speed this up a bit. Once we can get custom bombs, we can set off 20. And we're going to go ahead and get the top up as well. Let's set off 25. And round 30. Now we're not going to set any more rounds just yet because we need a farm. Just one farm. We don't need to use all three because uh, of the 7 tower limit. So it might be a bit difficult for us if we were to, uh, you know, go all the way. But either way, uh, now we can set round 35. And we're going to go ahead and get a marketplace. And second day get a marketplace, we can send to round 39. Now in theory you could send all the way to round 39, but the problem is that you won't be able to maximize your farm output. And I want to maximize it, so uh that's why I'm not full sending. Anyway, next we're going to get some much as support sub so that we won't die to camel blooms. Uh now, uh you might be wondering how we're going to deal with round 40, and it's quite simple actually, we're going to get a bottom half ninja. A sticky bomb. So once we hit $3,000, we're, we're going to go ahead and send to round 45. Why round 45? Because you need a, we need to get the burst of money from the farm and the bomb shooter. Uh, so there we go, now we got a sticky bomb and next we are going to get our recursive cluster. Oh yeah, don't forget to get uh, ninja discipline so that uh, the ninja can shoot the sticky bombs uh, faster. There we go, now we get recursive cluster, we can go ahead and send to round 49. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and get ODS. Once a more player pops, you can send to round 51. Why round 51? Because there's no more as a round 51. Also, free money. Uh, we're also going to get a 204 sharpshooter set to strong, and we're also going to get Plutonium Reactor because the more DPS, the better. So you might be wondering what our end game is going to be, and it's going to be this. Um, uh, more glaives. Sorry, not more glaives, a glaive lot. Uh, once the I don't know why I fast forwarded, but uh, send to round 52. Uh, once the first more for round 50 pops. Now once you hit about $6,000, sell everything except the Glaive Lord and then get upgrade to Glaive Lord. I don't know why I sold it, but uh, sure I guess. Okay, there we go. Now we can full send safely, but we are not done yet. We can still help out our Glaive Lord quite a bit. So we're going to get a bunch of 301 uh, Alchemists. Actually, yeah, I forgot we can only get just one. Uh, never mind. Uh, anyway, ignore what I just said, we're going to go ahead and get this as well. We're also going to get an Ice Monkey. Why? Because uh, a 4... A 4 0 2, actually 4 0, 0 deals plus 1 damage to the my class moves and that's very useful. Now we're also going to get back our uh, Ace. And once again, we're going to set to Wing Monkey. And the idea is we are going to uh, get as many anti uh items as possible. Uh, I'm saying this because uh, we got quite a bit of uh, BFPs that we have to deal with and unfortunately, uh, as good as you think that the uh, Glaive Lord is, uh, out of some more, uh, it's not enough to deal with the BFPs by itself, so we need the assistance of the Sticky Bomb plus a bunch of, uh, or rather as much uh, anti mod defenses we could come up with. Uh, now make sure that uh, when you're placing your towers, just make sure you you can place them anywhere near the middle. Just make sure that A, PR yeah, obviously it faces the middle. And then B, uh, make sure it's not within range of the Alchemist because you want the Alchemist to only uh, boost the Glaive Lord. There we go. 
And yeah, this ending bit is uh, going to be unusually long for always, um, but unfortunately that's the best. Uh, in theory, you could sell everything for Sky Shredder, um, but I'm not going to do that here. So we're going to stick with that, uh, because I'm not too sure how safe the Sky Shredder is. And I don't want to waste too much monkey money on this race. So there you go, that is an easy race tutorial. 420. Won't be, nice. Won't be nice if we end up on 69. That'll be the best race score ever, right? But with that, we are done with this race. And let's see where we place. Hmm, 7th overall. Uh, with the lowest timing being 2 minutes and 22 seconds. And in the mini race, we are second uh, out of 37. So it's a guaranteed top 10% race. And there you go, that is your this week's uh, easy race tutorial. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like if you like this video, leave a comment if you have anything else to add, and I'll see you guys in the next video.